99% of the world's population breathes air that exceeds the WHO guidelines for air quality. Fine particulate matter and nitrogen oxide are some of the most harmful air pollutants. The big culprits, aviation, agriculture, road traffic, energy production and marine traffic. If we look at transport, road traffic has a bigger impact on air pollution than marine traffic. Because there are so many cars and trucks going out and about, and because all that traffic requires a lot of infrastructure as well. But if you compare the emissions of a dredging vessel to those of an average truck, a vessel emits much more. There are many sorts of emissions. Carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, fine particulate matter. But let us first focus on nitrogen oxides. A dredging vessel with a power output of 5,000 kilowatts and tier 2 engine emits in one day around 1,150 kilograms of NOx. An average long-haul truck that drives 1,000 kilometers per day emits around 475 grams of NOx. Conclusion, in 24 hours, such a dredging vessel emits as much NOx as 2,400 trucks per day. It is clear that marine traffic has a big ecological impact, but this also means that reducing the emissions of a single vessel can have a huge positive impact, a much greater impact than lowering the emissions of a single truck. Jan de Nul is a major maritime construction company. We take the responsibility to reduce our impact on both people and nature. That is why we develop innovative solutions to reduce emissions from our vessels. One of them is the ULEF technology, short for Ultra Low Emission Vessels. About 10 years ago, Jan de Nul decided to equip all of its new vessels with ULEF technology. Replacing one 5,000 kW Tier 2 dredging vessel with the ULEF one saves up to 1,000 kg NOx per day, equivalent to removing the emissions of 2,100 trucks per day. And that is just NOx. In terms of particulate matter, the impact is even bigger. Thanks to our ULEF filter, the air immediately after filtration contains even less particulate matter than the surrounding air in a port. Let's have a look at how this works. Our ULEFs can run on fossil fuel as well as biofuel like biomethanol or 100% fame. They are equipped with an exhaust gas filter system connected to the engine that filters the gases in two phases. First, the gases pass through a selective catalytic reduction filter. The filter converts nitrogen oxides into nitrogen and water. This occurs through a chemical reaction in which a urea solution, such as AdBlue, is injected into the exhaust gases before a catalyst. Due to the heat of the exhaust gases, AdBlue breaks down into ammonia and carbon dioxide. The ammonia reacts with the nitrogen oxides in the SCR catalyst, converting them into nitrogen and water vapor, both of which are harmless substances. This allows the engine to run better and we use our fuel more efficiently. Secondly, the exhaust gases pass through a diesel particulate filter, or DPF, comparable to a car suits filter. Here, fine particulate matter and black carbon are captured. Together, the system reduces nitrogen oxides with 85 to 95% and particulate matter with 95 to 98%. The theory is spot on, but what about the results in practice? Everyone remembers Volkswagen's diesel gate. Emissions in theory were not quite the same as in reality. We want to avoid this at all costs. To prevent a diesel gate scenario, we have our ULEF vessels monitored by a third party for our clients. They measure the actual performance of our ULEF system. Through a recent innovation with one of our clients in the Netherlands, Rijkswaterstaat, we can even allow our clients to follow the emissions of our vessels in real time. Jan de Nol recently transformed its oil spill and sweep dredging vessel, Peter Cook, into an ultra-low emission vessel, bringing the total number of ULEVs into its fleet to nine. For 10 years, we've been perfecting our ULEV system, allowing us to even filter more nitrogen oxides from the exhaust gases today. While our first-generation ULEF vessels met Euro Stage 5 emission standards, they now comply with Euro 6. And the future is ULEF, as all our new-built vessels will be equipped with this system.